Have you ever wondered how many calories you actually burn while you're drumming? Well, I have, and there's actually a lot of touring drummers that come back several pounds lighter from a heavy tour. Why is that? In this video, which I shot in the last studio, so you're about to again magically see my beard get shorter, I brought in my friend Pete Parada. Pete plays with uh, the band The Offspring, as well as played with Devo and Face to Face, several others, and we dove deep into exactly how many calories do you burn during a show while while you're playing the drums. And how does that compare to, let's say, like a professional soccer player? And as well, just so you'll know, I have all the studies below where I looked up and calculated the information. So you can go check that out for yourself, as well as the study done on Clem Burke, the drummer from Blondie. Let's dive in deep, check out the numbers. For those of you that don't know, this is Mr. Pete Parada. He's a drummer for a little band called The Offspring. <laughs> regularly play shows where they have to sweat it out like crazy we've been sitting here talking about it and so uh, so why don't you just tell us a little bit about your regular show a normal offspring show is gonna be between 20 23 songs it's about 75 to 80 minutes long and um, the, the BPM range is anywhere I mean we've got a couple songs near 100 but mostly we're up above 150 you know quite a few 175 180. So that's like and that's the equivalent of jogging, right? That's the equivalent of actually doing cardio. Sometimes it feels like jogging in your <laughs> in your seat, yes. or jogging. The J is soft, right? <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So that's completely different than like what I do every day. Because what I do every day is I sit in the studio and look at the camera and teach. And you know, some days I'll get a little bit of wet pits, you know. But you, like, you're, you know, after show, I'm. You know, you're... We're sweating. Out. I come home from a. If we're on a month long tour, I'll come home down about five, five, seven pounds. So are you saying you're started. you saying you're in better shape than I am? No. Is that what you? I would no. You're you're, you're way more rich. How much do you think I can squat, uh, Pete? Two of me. How much? <laughs> <laughs> so if we average out his set time of 75 minutes, and then we kind of normalize some of this stuff, so he plays venues of about 10,000, and we average out the BPMs of what he, the typical song is in a set, you can actually come up with how many calories he's burning. If we factor in the number of songs that they usually do, which is 20 to 23, is that yes. right? Okay, and then we have his height, so it's going to be 5 foot 8 inches. On a good, if I'm feeling real good about myself, like, standing up tall and 5'8". <laughs> like, if my posture is perfect, first thing in the morning. And you're 140, 145, I don't want to... Yeah. So, you know, that's like two of what I can squat. So if, if we have that, and we can actually average all of that in and put it into some nerd formulas and actually come out with how many calories you burn per show. So if we average everything out, he's got a 75 minute set, he weighs about 145 pounds, about five foot eight inches, give or take, if his posture's good, and then we can say, okay, well, average BPM for a show was gonna be about a 150. You can go somewhere like Map My Run, and I put all these links below, and you can actually figure out how many calories are burned. So at that rate, that's the equivalent of running a 10 minute mile. Which I cannot do. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just gonna just gonna put that out there. <laughs> I don't wanna try it, so let's not. Because I was going to put that to the test, actually. Oh, see. good, yeah. <laughs> so that's clocking about seven miles a show. You're running about six miles per hour for averaging that out. I did two different tests. I did Map My Run, and that came out for a 75-minute set that you burned roughly 816 calories in a show. And then I said, well, maybe we should do something else. So I went to everydayhealth.com, and I actually found that you did 767 calories. So we can average that out to somewhere between 790 and 800 calories. So if you're roughly 145 pounds you'd be burning about 650 calories an hour playing that size venue at that BPM. Now just so you have a reference for like how in shape he is and how lousy shape I am except for my squats, which I can do exactly two of Pete, um, then you can see, you can go to Discover Soccer, I've got the link below. You can actually see that that is the same caloric burn rate as not just a like recreational kid soccer player, like a competitive soccer player. The thing about them, though, is they only are used to playing two games a week. Like that, they think that's a lot. 
And so 50 games a year for a competitive soccer team is a lot. Well, when you're on tour with an album cycle, what what's your normal? We're five shows a week, uh, probably 100 shows a year. So that's twice what a competitive soccer player is. So am I saying he's in better shape than the World Cup team? You never heard me say that, but... I don't have a trophy, though. <laughs> See, you don't have the... And that's the thing. That's what's missing is you should talk to them about maybe getting you a trophy like, hey... <laughs> Hey, Pete, here's this. I mean, I just have the World Cup trophy for like a week this year because I feel I've earned it. <laughs> At every show, you can just like point to it. This is, this is what I'm doing. Um, Take that, Ronaldo. <laughs> is he still? I don't, is he? I don't know. I don't know. So I know that not all of your songs, are, and you've played with several groups, so you, you have punk group face-to-face. -face yeah. Are you you're still playing with them? No, no just, okay. just Offspring, and um, I played with Devo a couple of years ago. And, um, but mostly my main gig is Offspring. Is the Offspring. Okay, so like, what's one of the quicker songs you guys play with that? Uh, for Offspring, um, All I Want is about 179. And Bad Habit is... Say in the 160 range. And Americana up around 180. So, so y'all are moving like most of the show, and, and y'all don't take many breaks during in between songs. What are your no. breaks like in between songs? Uh, I don't get a break. We, <laughs> we, we start the show and I have a bottle of water that sits next to me and at the end of the night my drum tech is like, you didn't even open it. I, like, I have no time. <laughs> didn't get a chance. We got about two or three times during the set we'll stop for a minute or two and right. they'll talk to the crowd but we really like to keep, you know, they got a lot of songs and, and we got to kind of cram all of them in. So we try to keep the show moving along. There's and, not a lot. Of and that's what's crazy, too, because if you think about, like, if we're going to compare this to a sporting event, like, if you think about that, soccer players just play 45 minute halves. Then they get, what, half an hour to, you know, yeah. chill out and take a break, and they don't hash it out in 75 minutes. Yeah, no, we just we just power through. So <laughs> it's just, I think for the best, if it, for me, if, if we take a break, even at, at a rehearsal, if we're having, like, a long day of rehearsal and we get through the whole set once, and we take a break and have lunch. We come back, my arms have tightened up. Right. Like if, if I don't keep moving, I get stiffened up. So I, I would I would rather just knock it all out. Right. I can understand how athletes get used to the, the coming and the going. I'm just used to the nonstop barrage. The, the nonstop. See, he's in better shape than you. Who's a famous soccer player? What's, you said Ronaldo, but is he even still? I don't this know. This is sad that we don't even... <laughs> um, I love sports ball. It's Beck, my favorite. Beckham? <laughs> Beckham? Yes, yeah. Beckham. But see, he looks too good. Yeah, so it's I like, know. I, you know, can't, I can't, can't compare, compare to yourself to him. No. I can't squat to him. He's just too handsome. <laughs> they actually did tests on the drummer, Clem Burke. He played for Blondie. They found out that 90 minutes of drumming could raise his heart rate to as high as 190 beats per minute. I thought that maybe my calculations were wrong. And so I just checked it with that study and found that Clem burns between 400 and 600 calories per show with Blondie. So if you're regularly playing a show with any band and you're sweating it out, and maybe that's in small venues, because we talked, sometimes the small venues are the worst. We were they are the worst. Because it can be, you know, the crowd's pumped in with you, two to three hundred people, and it's smaller, and sometimes the air doesn't it's work. Just, or they don't want to turn it on. Because <laughs> so. they don't have the funds for the air. Yeah. And so sometimes the smaller shows can actually be a lot worse than the bigger shows. You got a little bit more airflow. You can check out the study that Dr. Smith did at Chichester University. I put the link below. The next time you have a show, if you happen to skip cardio, that's okay because you're going to burn it off at the show. If you like what we talked about in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with another drummer you think it could help. As well, go check out Pete's YouTube channel. We put all the links below. We've also got his Facebook, his Twitter, his Instagram. Go follow him. You'll get to see some cool show footage and kind of get a bird's eye view of what he gets to do every day, which is really cool stuff. If you're looking to get better at your drumming on a daily basis, jump over to the website, check out the program we have there. I guarantee it will help you improve on a daily basis. But no matter what you do, I will see you here in the next video. And where's the, where's the, Chichester, 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 I'm going to say it's Chichester. Okay.
So if we if we average out what he was just saying, that he's got a set time of about 75 minute, minutes. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so it would go again. Do it and cut. That's how it goes, man. Don't People me. take outtakes and they're all fun. And I'm always like, <laughs> I'm always like self-loathing. Like, God, I should be working at McDonald's. <laughs> so let's average a couple numbers out. <clears throat> So let's average a couple numbers. It's not gonna work. I'm not gonna laugh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it this time. So let's average a couple. Sorry. <laughs> and go. Got it. So let's average a couple numbers out. We can average out. <laughs> All right. I promise I'm not gonna laugh this time. So I thought maybe that. I say so a lot. Why do I do this? I get it. <laughs> Um, don't get laughing again. Don't don't start that. There was actually a study done on. Dern, 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 dern. There was actually a study done on Clem Burke. We're never gonna make it through these. Clem do it. Just keep it light. Just lighthearted. It's just fun. Keep it's it breathing. If you like what we talked about in this video, gives it a thumb. Gives it. Gives it. It rubs the lotion on its skin. 